<laughs> oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome, welcome back. I'm Philip Magnus and I do enjoy books quite a bit. Today I will be talking about, or rather I will be mocking, or rather I will be having fun with six, six I say, classical science fiction novels. These are mostly, well half of them, by Isaac Zimov. They are all about his um, Foundation Trilogy, the first one, not the second one, known as the good one and the slightly less good one. Shall we get into it? We shall, shan't we? There's also Dune! The Dune one is good, I thought. Anyway, you let me know. Have at it. The Foundation. Humanity should have planned this whole massive Imperial expansion thing true. Foundation and an Empire. Oh no, the centuries dead psycho-historian scientist guy got part of his equation wrong. Second Foundation. It's time to beat the game. Dune by Frank Herbert. Everything in this book is so cool, I wouldn't blame you for missing the point entirely, and you know about this being a cautionary tale that warns against messiahs and acts as a first rallying call for the environmental cause worldwide. Lord of Light by Roger Zelazny. Hey. I don't remember the Buddha wielding quite so many blasters and boomsticks as he does here. And also, is it just me, but does every book by Zelazny expand your horizons in every way that matters, philosophically, mythologically, bloody aesthetically? Hyperion by Dan Simmons The Shrike was within us all along. Yeah. Yeah. Well, those were doozy. I, I do feel like at least one of these videos has to have a joke about some sort of a monster or thing or horror being inside us all along. It, it is a favourite joke of mine and I don't know how to, to stop making it, really. Oh well. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe and leave a comment down below. How would you define any of these sci-fi novels in a single sentence? Would you do it? Or are you not brave enough? I know I am, but that's mostly because I'm insane. I'll see you next time. Bye!